it's not selling you anything. It's educational. You, it, what Russ is trying to do, he's imparting his knowledge and making it fairly clear that if you want to succeed, you've got to have people on your side. You've got to have the right team on your side. I'd, I'd like to think of myself as a very humble sort of accountant, but we started our business back in 94. So we've seen quite a lot and been through quite a lot with our clients, pretty much been working with investors, helping clients actually try to get ahead. And this is where, when I read uh, Rusty's book, it just resonated with me because it's simply a matter of being around that long and seeing a lot of transactions. It's good to actually see something that's not full of guff, that's actually uh, based on sound knowledge and how things actually work and things, are pit, traps and pitfalls that you need to be aware of. So I've worked with Rusty a few times as well to help out some of his clients and probably six, seven years ago as well, we decided to join the financial planning fraternity as well. So we're in a position that we can actually gauge and try to balance things out as well, because from my perspective as well, and the book talks about it, it's all about having a strategy and actually sticking to the strategy and mitigating risks along the way. I suppose I haven't really thought about it so much at this point in time in my life of accumulating multiple properties, because from my perspective and where I'm at, I've already done that. Okay. But what it did, I suppose, point out that, and as a financial planning planner, when you were wearing your financial planner's hat, there seems to be a tendency to sort of say, look, you've actually got to try to mitigate your risk. So therefore accumulating too many properties too quickly can be a problem. When I actually thought about it, it's actually, it's actually not a bad strategy at all. It just depends on when you start this strategy. So if you start this strategy early enough in the piece, where you can actually start looking at addressing your debt levels as you get to my age, then it's a perfectly sound strategy as long as that's not your only strategy. But it's certainly a perfectly sound strategy to have if you've adopted it early enough and as long as you don't make it your sole strategy. And this is where Rassi actually talks about as well. He says, look, you've got to speak to a financial planner, you've got to speak to an accountant as well in order to make sure that you've got things right. It's not selling you anything, it's educational. What Rassi is trying to do, he's imparting his knowledge and making it fairly clear that if you want to succeed, you've got to have people on your side. You've got to have the right team on your side. And this is what I suppose Rusty's surrounding himself with as well, having the right team to, to work with his clients. And I suppose we all look for that because with any profession, you want to make sure it's anything, any success is never sort of driven by one person. It's actually having the correct people there to advise you at the right time and to keep you on track. You look at any professional athlete, they're not a professional athlete on their own. They've actually got coaches that'll actually help them get to where they need to get to. And each of those coaches has their own specialty and they can help the athlete in a particular area. And this is no different when you're looking at it as an investor, if you're looking at it as financial planning, if you're looking at it in any way, it works exactly the same way. Whether it's accounting and you're trying to build your business, you need to have somebody on your side that's going to help you to do that. Whether it's financial planning, whether it's property investing, it's, it's the same thing. Mm-hmm.